All right, so what we're working on today is the door over the overhead compartment. So my things that I keep stored up here are no longer exposed, but more importantly, aren't falling every time I put the brakes on. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna be screwing and nailing down a strip of wood here, kind of like as a barrier, if you will, to keep things from rolling forwards. It'll hit something and stop. But also, the strip that's going along top, I'm gonna have another one going along the bottom. And then I'm also gonna have some uh, a, a face plate, if you will, going in front of it. And that'll have something for the door to stop on. Once we do that, I'll have a frame. It's not gonna be perfect, meaning it's not gonna curve in the corners because the door is gonna cover it, so I don't care how it looks on the inside. The frame will go across top and then back down the side. And that frame at the top will give something the door something for the door to hinge to. And the door itself I'll curve in the corners so it'll look a little bit more clean and professional. On the inside, we're gonna take this big piece of wood here. I'm gonna liquid nail it and then wedge it up against the foam. I'll cut some more pieces to put in the corner. It's not gonna look pretty, but it's just to kind of cover up the foam. And I don't know, just a little bit more insulation. It's not much, but something. But I think I'm more or less just putting the wood up there so I can make some dividers to attach to it. And I'll probably have like a divider here, maybe there. Probably two or three dividers in here. And eventually, this will be storage for, you know, winter clothing, extra pillows, sheets, blankets, whatever, miscellaneous stuff. And I've got the closet. Once this closet is finally finished, I'll have about three shelves for my everyday clothing, week-long clothing, and that's all I'll need. And the other half of the shelf will be for my portable toilet and miscellaneous items. I've got a bunch of miscellaneous items in this closet, and this closet will eventually be nothing but food storage. That's where we're at right now, so let's get to working on this overhead door. Coming at you with an update, we're working on the cabinet. We got all the framing, most of the framing done for the cabinet. That back wall piece didn't quite turn out the way I wanted it to, meaning the glue didn't stick. I didn't have enough RTV liquid nail. I'm gonna go buy a couple more tubes and I'm just gonna lather that thing in some liquid nail and then put it back up. Anyhow, we're working on the door right now. I got one cut made, about to make the other one, and then we're gonna start fine tuning it because this has got to make the curve for the roof. This is about the only thing in the entire project that's supposed to look good is the door. It'll hide everything else that doesn't look good. But folks, we got a lot of projects going on. We've got this down here. 
if you're wondering, it's the door for the batteries. It was never fully leveled with the floor because it kind of tilted, so we're trying to get that leveled out. We also have a small minor project. We are fixing the tile right here. I, when I was doing the trim, I'd messed up and cracked a piece of the tile. Long story, but we're fixing that. And then we're also working, oh, I don't know if you folks can see it, but you see that black strip in the corner? Well, I got another black strip in this corner. Those are lights. Yes, folks, we got lights in the van. We're working on that. You'll see that in next week's video. All right, let's get back to this door. ahead and jump to the end it's finished finally I've got a door over this overhead storage area all right since the start of this video and now here at the end I've already been to Florida and back on a work trip and tomorrow Sunday you're watching this I'll still be in Texas but Monday I'll be leaving out of Dallas and heading to North Carolina another work trip no rest for the weary, or no rest for the wicked. I don't know how it goes. Anyways, you know what time it is. <laughs>